Yo, what's happening folks and welcome back to the HitLab Academy for YouTube with myself, Howie. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about the most effective way, at least in my opinion, to edit your audio files and more specifically vocal files inside Logic Pro X in order to give them that finished and polished sound ready for mix. So stick around and let's get into it. So before we get into this week's lesson, I just want to remind you guys to head on over to the HitLab channel, click subscribe, ring the bell for instant notifications and leave a thumbs up. It all helps the algorithm. Specifically, if you leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my videos get out there and be seen by more people such as yourselves that have an interest in the world of audio and recording audio. But enough about that. Let's get into a project and look at the best way, in my opinion, to clean up your audio files and give them a good edit and make them sound polished. Okay, I've got a WAV file over here that has not been edited. If I double click on it, you can see there is still a fair amount of noise floor information that's been recorded over there. What the noise floor is, it is basically information that the mic is picking up when the vocalist is not performing. So they sing and then they stop because there's a section of the song that they're not performing in. The microphone is still recording the room ambience and whatever else is happening in that room other than the vocal coming through the capsule. So we want to clean that up because all that information just gathers up and stores in the back end and uses more CPU. So we're going to close that up by hitting X. The first thing you want to look at is your click zones over here. This is going to help you to edit. Um, your left click zone is that one over there. If you hover on, you can see it'll tell you the name, the left click tool. And I've set that to pointer because it is the most effective for me. And then you've got your command click zone over there, which means that if you hold in command, that will appear, that specific sign will appear or that option, shall we say. I'm gonna leave that on the marquee tool because it's the most universal for me at least when I do this kind of editing. But if you feel like you need an extra option such as a right click tool, then what you wanna do is you wanna head on over to Logic Projects, go to Preferences, go to General. Once you are in General, head on over to Editing and then go to Right Mouse Click over there and you can say assign to a tool. Now, if we close that up, we now have an extra option over here, which will show up when I hold right in on my mouse. But we're gonna remove that for now because I really don't really like that workflow. So I'm just gonna stick to open tools and shortcut menu for now. Right, so the first way, which is not my preferred way, is to use the remove silence tool to remove whatever unwanted silence from that WAV file you don't want. And how you access that tool is you highlight the WAV file you want to edit, and then you just press Control X, and that icon over there will pop up. Now, you've got your threshold. Your threshold is where you set the volume that you want to start removing noise from. So for the sake of this, we are going to move that over to around about minus 28 dB. That seems all right. Then we've got minimum time to accept a silence, which is okay. We'll leave that there. Then our pre-attack time. If I move that around, you'll see it moves the entry point of the edit for you. So we want to shift that up a little bit to make sure we get some of the breaths. And then our post-release time is how long it takes for the noise to start getting removed after the actual wave file. So we will set that to over there for now. Then once you've done that, you can hit OK and you can see you now have an edited file. If you have a listen to that edited file. Cause baby, I want you, baby, I, and baby, I need you. Girl, you got me holding on, holding on to love. Cause baby, I want you, and baby, I need you. Girl, you got me holding. So for me, that is not the most effective way, but you can use that way if you want to. And the best way to sort of finish that up is you want to add a couple of fades and stuff so you can zoom in, highlight that one there, for instance, head on over to your inspector, and then you've got fade in and fade out, and you can just set a five millisecond fade in and a five millisecond fade out to that WAV file. And if I go to that WAV file, close my inspector, and zoom in, you can now see that that fade is there and it should give you a slightly cleaner entry into that edit. 
Cause baby I want you but it is not the most effective edit, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna show you my preferred way to do this, which is the slightly longer way. It's the more manual approach, but it gives you slightly more control with the edits you're doing, and you can really customize them to the way you like it in just a few simple steps. So how we do that is by double clicking and bringing that up into the editor. And now we're gonna make use of our command click tool for marquee tool. And we can actually see, if we zoom in, we can actually see where all the silence is that we would like to remove. So I'm gonna start by just basically holding in command, accessing the marquee tool, dragging, clicking up there and deleting. And I'm gonna go through the whole file, but I wanna keep the breaths because the breaths for me make the vocal performance sound natural. Uh, there's a little one over there, which we didn't quite pick up with the silence removal tool earlier. Uh, here we go, over there. This is the longer approach, folks, but it is the better approach, in my opinion, and you really get accurate results by doing it this way because you can really fine-tune what it is you are trying to do. Now, this is interesting. If you hold your mouse just below the 50% mark of your wave file, you'll see that tool over there, and if you click on it, you can just drag it in if it is a tail edit. Right, now the next thing we want to do is apply those crossfades, well not crossfades, the next thing we want to do is apply those fade ins and fade outs to this edit in order to make sure that it is nice and smooth and polished. So let's do that by simply heading on over to the top of the file over there and you'll see your fade tool should appear and you can just drag it to your liking per edit. So we're going to zoom in a little bit here, just make sure we don't miss anything. We just want to clean up the intros and outros of each of these edits, just like that, completely manually. I'm gonna do this edit, and then we'll jump forward a bit in the video. So now we have a nicely clean edited audio file happening over there. It looks a lot better than what the remove silence option did. If I close that, you can see it looks really neat already, visually. I like my projects to visually look appealing because I believe that if the project looks good, it's gonna sound good. That might not mean much, but to me it does. So let's have a listen to that file now and hear what a nicely edited vocal audio file sounds like. Cause baby I want you and baby, I need you. A girl, you got me holding on, holding on to love. Cause baby, I want you. And baby, I need you. A girl, you got me holding on, holding on to love. Guys, in my opinion, that is the most effective way to clean up your vocal files or any, or any audio files, really. It is effective, quick, and easy to do, and it ultimately gives you the best outcome when trying to achieve a final mix. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way through to the end. Remember to subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what videos you would like to see in the future around the world of audio recording, DAWs, etc. And if you wanna find out more about how you can work with me at The Hit Lab, please head on over to www.thehitlab.co.za and get in touch and we can work together from wherever you are in the world. Guys, it's been real. I hope to see you guys next week. Have yourselves a fantastic week and until then, Peace.